Dear Green Friends from Macedonia, I'm sending you greetings from Brussels, from the European Green Party headquarters. Unfortunately, I cannot join you for your party conference, but at least I wanted to be with you via video. The conference that you're organizing is coming at a very crucial moment in the history of your country. For the first time in more than two decades, there is indeed the possibility that a way may be opening up, a door may be opened to allow Macedonia to take the important and necessary steps towards becoming an active member and a welcome member of the Euro-Atlantic community, that means of NATO as well as of the EU. Before EU accession, even if this door can be opened, you all know that many more steps will be taken, but I think that all of us have to applaud the courage of those that have decided that they will break the impasse that has prevented you from moving in that direction for so many years. And you are part of that front of courageous people. And we're all very proud of you and the role that you're playing in the context of Macedonian politics in general and in particular also in the context of the Macedonian parliament. And uh, I do hope, and we all share this uh, expectation, that a way will be found to overcome the nationalistic opposition, to overcome the narrow-minded opposition, and to create hope in the country by opening this European perspective. Now, one person who has played a momentous role for your party and beyond that over the last years, always pursuing this same European inclination and European profession has been your chair, Liliana Popovska, who has now decided not to run for that same position anymore. We're all very grateful, Liliana, to the work that you've been doing. I've been admiring how you've been standing up in, under very intense pressure and um, grappling with uh, enormous difficulties. You took courageous decisions when you decided that uh, DOM would be a force of change of guard in the uh, Macedonian um, political scene when you joined forces with others who stood for uh, reforms that are clearly showing a way to, towards a better future for the country. Uh, you have always also um, been very active and you've also uh, been a, a driving force for the integration of DOM with the wider European Green family. We're grateful to you also because today DOM is one of the really not only well respected but also influential parties in your region of Europe and we value that a lot. So we're grateful to you and we hope that you will remain an activist and that we will remain to be in contact even after you take a different role. And at the same time, we're hoping that your succession will also be as successful as you have been. Uh, I'm not jumping to conclusions. I'm not trying to uh, comment a result of an election that's still to be had in your party conference, but I'm looking forward very much to continue cooperating with your successor just as intensely as we've been cooperating with you. So the best of luck to all of you. It needs a lot of strength to pursue the course that you have selected for yourselves. 
we're with you in full solidarity and hope that we all will be successful together. Greetings from Brussels.